cold days and less sunshine can have us feeling the winter blues, but Joy is here with a hearty soup that will help you beat those blues in The Daily Dish. Here's what this recipe calls for. Some roast chicken, broccoli, celery stalks, carrots, veggie or chicken stock, zucchini, quinoa, extra virgin olive oil, onion, garlic cloves, Italian seasoning, and fresh herbs. Enjoy, this soup sounds like just the thing for a cold winter day. Oh, absolutely. And Tracy, I know you're not a soup lover, but I think you're going to like this one because it's more, do you like stews? It's more almost like it's like thick and rich. There's lots of goodness in here. Yes, I will go for a stew any day of the week. You're right. Like I need there to, I need some substance in my soup. So I'm not just, you know, drinking hot beverages out of a bowl. So yeah, if it's a stew, I'm in. Yeah, I know what you mean. My husband Walker's the same way. He's not a soup person, so I make this for him too. So I've got, I've already started sauteing my garlic and my onions and my carrots and my celery. And that's usually the base to most soups, right? Yeah, exactly. So that puts so much flavor into what into your soup and also a lot of minerals because there's so much goodness and very good for your immune system too. So I've added that and once it's sauteed for about like five minutes, then you're going to add some more stick, uh, some more stock. So I added a little bit of stock as I was uh, sauteing it. Just because if your soup pot starts to get a little dry on the bottom, you may need to add a little bit more stock. So I'm going to put the rest of it in now. Okay, now I'm going to add my diced tomatoes. I feel like every time I go to the grocery store, I have to like stock up on diced tomatoes because <laughs> canned tomatoes go so fast in the winter. That makes total sense. And you know, so. yeah, it makes sense to stock up and especially if they're in a good price, right? Yeah, totally. And then I'm going to add my zucchini. Now, I don't saute the zucchini because zucchini cooks so fast. It's very soft mm -hmm. and it's also very water dense. So we've got so much fiber in here, so many wonderful nourishing ingredients. And I know you can't see into my soup <laughs> pot, but it also looks really beautiful. So now I'm putting in the quinoa. So the quinoa is just going to cook right into the soup. Now, if you, as the quinoa is cooking, if you notice that you need to add a little bit more stock or more water, you can totally do that. And I love quinoa because if you don't want to add the chicken, if you want to keep this totally plant-based, quinoa is awesome because it is a plant-based protein. And to beat the winter blues, you want to make sure you eat protein because protein is so important to make neurotransmitters that help us feel good, help us be in a good mood. So now we're going to add the roast chicken. And if you have leftovers, I like to roast a chicken probably like every couple weeks, maybe like twice a month. And uh, then you're not, you're not cooking chicken just for your soup. So this is like leftover from a few nights ago. And the last thing that I'm going to add, which I always kind of add very last, is the broccoli. Because broccoli, as you know, like cooks and gets soggy so quickly. So I put this just before I'm going to serve it because broccoli really only takes like two to three minutes to cook. You've got B vitamins in here, which are great, you know, for your energy and your mood. Uh, and also rich in fiber, so it's going to fill you up. But, uh, oh, I do have one more thing. The final, final <laughs> thing. So the broccoli wasn't the absolute last thing. But add some fresh herbs just before you serve it as well. Because herbs add such a wonderful pop of flavor. But you've got so many phytonutrients. Phyto means plant nutrients in this soup that there's just so many wonderful flavors. Because phytonutrients are what give plant foods their flavor. So this is going to be awesome. It's hearty. It's healthy. It's going to make you feel great. It looks great, and it looks healthy, but more <laughs> importantly for me, it looks filling. Thank you, Joy.